Rex Dale here. Today I'm going to show you uh, what you can do with metallic flakes. You can, we've got what, what, one, two, three, four, eight or something, so different ones. And here's the combos that you can see. So there are all sorts of silver, gold. I seem to have two of that one. Oh, so there's some of the combos now you can mix them all up here's my lot and my lot just gets all the ends and things that comes off all over the place but you have a look at them big bits of metallic flakes some of them are tiny but most of them you can break them up you can use them you can trap them inside things you can sprinkle them onto you know into any put them in your felt making put them in your silk paper making and all those sorts of things but very very easy to use is to take a piece off this is this is a piece of fabric that's been just my paintbrush clean up on uh, some black poly cotton using the Lumiere paints. Don't you get when you see the mica and paints how wonderful it is? But what well, I'll show you what you do. I've got a glue stick. It doesn't matter what sort of glue stick, and I'll make a little mark just here like this. You can see the glue. Now pop some of these flakes on here, and just burr them gently with your fingers or the back of a spoon, or depends whether you're one of those people who doesn't like getting your fingers dirty or doesn't care. You can see that I'm of the latter variety. And then put the surplus back into here. If I worked on a piece of plastic or a background, it probably would be better, but... And then just clear it all off so it's covering where all that glue is and it's permanent it'll stay it'll wash and you can stitch into it or so on and see see them making things easier and making them more difficult but and so you've got a cover on here and that was just using a glue stick um, it's better than using anything else um, to be quite honest so then you can stitch into that. And this is another one where I've used a rubber, uh, you know, a print, um, a rubbing stick. We don't have them anymore. They're not available. These were Sarah Lawrence's ones. And I just applied the glue onto the base like this. And remember that I'm not looking for a perfect copy. So I'm just putting the glue down. The biggest thing is to clean it out afterwards to make sure you get your stamp all clean. So this is, put it onto here. Now you can see that these rubbing plates here, there's another one, I've got quite a lot of them still going, but they're getting pretty tacky and pretty old. They've been used and used and used for quite a long time for all sorts of activities, but they will take heat. They'll take scrubbing, etc. Now when it's all on, here's my shape. You can't see it that well. And then I'll do this again. Put all these down. Put down more than you need and then you can lift off what you don't want. And keep going here. You'd be working on a, a, um, a clean background, of course, rather than your table. Um, and you can see as I rub it off, and I'll get rid of all the balance, that the colour, where the colour has stayed from the, from the rubbing plate and how effective that is. Now, bear it all, bear it all on and it stays quite firm. And we've been selling these for a long, long time. You can find them on our website, little jars of, of all these flakes. They're not particularly expensive but they are really good to work with now. There it is there. And I'll tip it off again, see how I get on. And there is my, just a few more to clean up. And I've stitched into this one, which hasn't got a lot of color on it. It's just mucking around. And that is so simple, so effective. And it's just an ordinary old glue stick. The actual glue stick doesn't really matter. Um, but so there you go there and you've got all those different colors you can mix the colors that you have or you can just use whichever color you like and just to show you what I've done before 
is using silver here. This is on a piece of um, uh, felt, so it's come up extremely well, and that is silver, just all bird worked into it. It's not been, it's been there for some considerable time. It's not ever likely to disappear. So that's a sort of wonderful effect. So I hope that's given you some ideas if you like working with uh, flakes and things like that. And we'll see you again next time. Bye.